guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. So finally, we are on the last day. That is right, guys, the final day of the Prosperous Quest. This merchant's adventure has been kind of a pain in the butt. Um, overall, it, it seems like the map is far too big. Um, there are a lot of random things that are going on in here. Um, I'm actually finding a little bit of points that are just popping up kind of here and there. But this is going to be the last Magical Vines. The last movement so this will be the final day guys that hopefully this will be done we can get the rest of our loot daily news want to check this out we get a couple more resources but we are in the final zone you can see it's almost like a, a pillar or a castaways guys getting into this final zone in this final trading post and of course i think we have to skirt all the way around here to the top to pick up this relic because again the relics are part of the grower of wealth to pick up those heirlooms but we're going to continue all the way down here and see what exactly this does bring for our final day looks like we have three gates or three drawbridges that we can go across and there is another key hero guys which is gorbo look to look at your recent haul heard you got a lot of shellfish and salmon this could be a complicated problem all right time for some adventuring so the adventuring continues guys um as we have seen it before let's figure out what we have to do in here perfect place to set up our stall so i believe that is the final trading node guys but let's figure out where we have to go looks like we have a little bit of unexplored territory back here which is just another relic so we'll go ahead and we'll pick that one up i don't see anything else here and literally what you're looking for are those little tiny yellow exclamation points showing up somewhere Bring up somewhere i'm going through here i'm not sure if it's going to be back into the major town but we do have a chest here there's a few chests that we've actually i don't think that we've picked up yet we still have a couple guys that we are going to have to find but it looks like here we might have to actually go back and backtrack a little bit um to see exactly where we have to go if, if there's something back here and again this is kind of what we've been dealing with so we set up Eastern Point, so we have coins, coins. We have two more enemies on the map, complete events. So we have one more event. We have to find the enemies and we have to find the event. We are trying to get that Wukong. And there we go, guys. So back where we were last time, it looks like there is a key person that showed up in the, the other half that we're going to get. Make sure, even running through here, guys, some of them do show up and we just passed one. We literally just passed one and another one in town. You're pouring into the river lies you haven't seen anything do not deny it it looks like El Mobis is um doing some bad things which is polluting the river so i think we're gonna have this is one of the last two camps that we need in here guys um to actually finish this out and then again there is another part what are we supposed to do i was gonna stockpile eventually there we go so this was one of the one of the bad guys the foundry was releasing water which was toxic let's check out the other key person General paid a visit. Want to go to Ore Valley? So he gave us something. He actually gave us two chests of gold. General Strilda has commissioned a cart full of gold to Ore Valley. Be sure to get there in time. That's actually, I think, the first item that we have seen inside of our bag. But there was also one that we caught in town um, when we came by, guys. I, I seen, unless it moved, it, it could have disappeared, I thought. It was right here. I, I thought we seen one right here. Oh, it might have moved up here. But that would have blocked us. So let's see. Uh, gold, here's the deal. We'll split it. Find out yourself. Get out of my way. I would never consider it. Rowan was hit. He is drowsing. It's a robbery. So there is robbery, guys. So it is, look at that, all Hodgkin here. But I think this is going to be our final battle in here. And I wonder if the general is going to give us our chest. We still haven't seen... The crystal chest in here guys that has the actual skin there we go so grower of wealth that is our 20 enemies but we have to finish the rest of that event but did he take our bag he didn't we still got the just chest so we have to carefully uh to ore valley so i'm thinking the ore valley's probably not in the trading part of it I, i'm assuming it is going to be the the physical going to ore valley which of course was way up in the top left, guys. And again, I know a lot of players, I, I do apologize, guys. Um, a lot of players have hated doing this. I think this path 
There we go, guys. There's another key person that is out of reach. Oh, uh, there's something blocking us in here. There's got to be something coming through this town. That is blocking us. Where are we at? Unless it's... Oh, they put a bunch of enemies in here. We have a bunch of copies of Hodgkin. I thought we could just move up to Ore Valley, um, but now we know which way we're going, which is good. We're going to have to get through, and this might be part of the event, guys, to get those final parts out. It looks like we're still going to have to do some trading, though. It seems like the, the coin trading we're going to have to continue doing um, to get that skin to be able to have enough points. I'm not sure if they're just going to give it to us in a gold chest or in a crystal chest. I'm too late. The general is waiting for me. Oh, so it said I am too late. I'm not sure if the general is going to be somewhere else now. Let's see if we can get up to the mountains to the core to that other person or if we're already going to be too late. Now, the general was up here, which see nobody is still up here. Let's see if we can just come up through the mountains, guys. Get to that person. Play, pay close attention. Yeah, it didn't pass anyone along the way, but there was a key person here. And now we can get to it's all clear. That box of rings in your hand, it wouldn't happen to be Earl brand. Rings I just bought here. What? Do you know? Don't listen to the tomfoolery. Another battle, guys. We're getting stuck with a lot of combat in here. And a triple Silas. That's a pretty um, pretty interesting combination. Of course, we have to get through Brutus. Just takes a little bit of time for that shield to expire. And Wukong. Um, there's Wukong. I wonder if, again, if this is going to be close to the end. I admit it. It's a scam. Fostering some weird superstition. There's the ring, guys. Hanston Gold Ring. The bestseller of the Foundry. Which means we completed the map on there, so we have two more to do. Which again, I don't think those last two are, are yeah, I mean, one, two, three, four, what are they, 200 each? Yeah, we're gonna have to hit that 400,000 mark um, with the silver coins, but is there anything else up here? Because the general said that we were too late. A pile of garbage. We picked that up as well. Precious resin um, secreted by the long leaf, a crucial cleaning catalyst. So it seems like there's still quite a few things going on in this map, guys. But again, where do we go from there? I mean, do we go back over here to see if anyone has showed up? Let's go back to the, the very important person, see if we pass anyone else on the way. Doesn't look like it. Now get your purifier up and running. I've got some selfish I want to buy. Foundry is much safer now. Thank you. So mission accomplished there, guys. We cleaned up the foundry. Again, I don't think there's anything else back here. Which might be the conclusion of the actual events, but I don't know where Strilda went. I do not know where Strilda went in here. Let's see if we can do anything with Gorvo down here. Yep, we can. Should be good now. And again, guys, this place, is, it, it is just kind of a mess to run around here and um, complete all these. All right. So it was the dwarves from the foundry. Thanks. I'm sure the salmon will be swimming next year. Let's talk about this next year. Here is a present for you. Boom. We got one of the Sorry Night Blue Lobsters. And again, I'm not sure if there's anything else. Just taking a quick peek around. Doesn't look like there's anything else here. So it might just be at this point, guys, that it is going to be trading. So let's see what we got in here. Look at that, 129. Let's see where we can actually sell that at. The price trends um, up 10% in the stake. Let's see, the Starry Lobster, 68%. I'm gonna go to Springtown with this. But first, of course, we're gonna pick up some more here. And we have to pick up a couple more uh, slots for our bag. Springtown, of course, going to be pretty far away, but that is going to be consuming three tickets. We're going to sell everything we have here, and then a Springtown has been the spot, guys, to sell really everything. So 76k right there. 
And I think the other was the foundry that we were looking for. I think the other one um, was the foundry that we could actually buy more bag pieces, I think it was. I'm going to hop up here, which it is, guys. That is the bag pieces that we can pick up. 67K, but look at that, guys. They're super expensive. I mean, that that is half. If I bought another one, I wouldn't be able to buy anything else out of here. So we're absolutely going to have to buy all these guys. We got 20 slots now. Still, again, that's a lot of coins to be kind of going through here and doing. And one thing I did share in the live stream earlier, um, even if you buy things and sell them in the exact same town, so making sure that you're clearing out every town, even though you're losing coin, um, you actually benefit greatly from doing that because of the resource generation that you actually get. And I should have bought some more stuff in there. What do we got? Five lobsters out of here. And again, it seems like that would be one to go to Springtown. Again, because Springtown is really expensive. But I know Libra is pretty good. Snowy Peaks, Or Valley. I think I'm going to go back to Or Valley again. Just a little bit of movement, but I can buy everything else out of there. And that means I don't have to go back there, but there's 64. And guys, this is just, I mean, sheer time consuming it is really all that it is. Even these guys, like I was saying earlier, is if I sell some of these, so let's say we even go to the batch slack. I'm going to do one, two, three, since we sell three. Um, I'm going to sell those three. I still yield 3,000 coins, even though I know it was at a loss. Um, but I still yield the 3,000 coins. Um, when it comes to the leaderboard, it, it gives you a little bit more um, for the sellback. For even on the sellback, we do get quite a bit more. Now let me see. So Springtown is pretty sold out. Um, I'm going to go to Lira just because we have quite a few there. All right. So again, I'm going to do the same thing, guys. So we're going to get our 58K there. Um, we have 10 here, we have 20 here, so we can only carry 20. So I'm gonna buy 10 of these. And again, not thinking about the sheer cost that I'm getting, but when I get 2000 coins like this, that actually gives me 2000 more coins. You can do the same with all of these actually. Even though again, we're yielding or losing a little bit, that is still giving me 1100 coins. And this is honestly, it's, Kind of a weird tactic um, to do within here to, to actually just sell these back. But again, versus just leaving all of the stuff here, it's a lot more beneficial. It's a lot more beneficial to, to buy them and sell them back. Again, the sheer number of coins that we're, we're doing. So Springtown still has a little bit more. Um, I'm going to go to the Orchard. And any of the small stuff, I'm going to do the same. I'm actually going to sell all of these back. There we go. We make a pretty good. So we have, what, 25. I'm going to buy my 20. Again, looking at the coins that we're making. Boom, we made 2,000 right there. Net negative. Guys, it, it is literally net negative on there. Um, but again, I'm only doing it for the stuff that we're moving. The rest of it, I'm just going to clean up. I'm going to do 15 here. And now this is the time when we're going to take all the stuff and we're actually going to move it out of here. So Libra is empty. The Orchard is empty. The Eastern Port is empty. Um, I believe Harmony City is still completely full. Or Valley is empty. And if I would have known this days ago, um, we could have done this a lot more. Again, even though you're losing tokens um, on some of the stuff you have in here, you're still gaining the, the net being sold. There we go, guys. 87K right there. I'm going to pick up these last 20. I'm going to go, since we have those 20, I'm going to buy one more bag. Get up Harmony City, selling all these back. And the same thing here, guys. So I'm going to buy 19 of these. So we're going to go 19. Boom. I'm going to sell all those back. I think I did my math right. This is going to give us our 21 slots.
And again, kind of a cheesy way, guys. Joey Peaks, again, we have something right there, or Valley. I think everything else is sold out at this point. So I'm going to hit up Snowy Peaks. We're going to stay with six of our cards. Sell all these back. Another 81K. Same thing here. I'm going to buy my 20, even though net negative. Um, I'm going to sell them all back. Bought them for 20. Sold them for 10. Same thing here, even though the coins are going down. Still making another, what, 20,000 in the event itself. So rich list. Um, top 26%. So we're getting there, guys. That that is very very cool. Sixty thousand. Look at that, guys. I don't know how they got two. What is that? Two million tokens. Um, that's crazy. I'm I'm wondering if they fixed it. Honestly, I, I'm wondering. Um, because I thought we were a lot closer before the end of today. But again, when they were adding up the the rich list, again we're at twenty six. That's crazy because we got what 601 and they're at 2 million. Not sure exactly how they, they got to that 2 million figure. But again, I think that'll do it for today. I'm going to look around the map, um, see what we can do with the coin, with the coin accumulation because we still have 79,000 here. So guys, that'll do it for our final day. Again, looking at the grower of wealth, we're going to have to get some more coins um, to actually finish out these last two and then we will be able to get the skin. So I don't think it's just going to give it to you, but we still have, how much longer? Yeah, we still have eight days, guys. Even though all the event is complete, we still have over a week to continue trading day after day after day. So all right, guys, so that'll do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching.